So I told myself I was going to avoid this topic. I've seen so much of YouTube and the internet talking about it, but it is something that potentially could affect us here at Nintendo Prime down the line. So we're going to just briefly go over it. PewDiePie. You guys probably all know who he is. He's the most popular YouTuber on YouTube by a pretty wide margin. Uh, his videos on several indie games have helped indie games blow up. He, it's crazy. He's really popular uh, with younger people, but I've even enjoyed some of his content over the years. Uh, I even enjoyed some of it just this year. And I even was kind of sort of on his side when the Wall Street Journal was coming after him because I felt like they took everything out of context. That doesn't mean that he's perfect. And this week, he did something that is hard to forgive. And he used the N-word during a live stream. I'm not even going to show the video clip or anything. It's out there. If you want to look up PewDiePie says the N-word, you're going to find clips of it, both edited and unedited. And... <laughs> That's pretty crappy of PewDiePie to do that. Uh, it definitely, and, and the way that he did it kind of suggests that it's just part of his regular vocabulary and uh, he doesn't either understand or care about the context that word uh, hurts people. But it's not so much about the usage of that word. The One of the main people behind Firewatch put up some tweets about how he is issuing a DMCA takedown of all of PewDiePie's Firewatch videos, which are about 18 months old now. And that's what we're going to talk about today, is a developer coming after a YouTuber to DMCA takedown videos that feature their game just because <laughs> they are trying to be PC. Basically, they're trying to be a social justice warrior, which I totally respect the stance about being against what PewDiePie did. But here's a problem. And this was brought up by the YouTuber Lawful Masses with Leonard French. He's, an, he's a real life lawyer. And he examined this. And it turns out that Firewatch, uh, the, the makers behind it, put themselves in a pretty sticky situation by issuing a DMCA takedown. And it's only obviously an issue if PewDiePie decides to fight it. And because on their website, they specifically say in the FAQ section that anyone is allowed to live stream their game. Anyone is allowed to profit off of live streaming their games. They specifically grant global permission for anybody to live stream their game and they do not put in in, in that global permission, any restrictions on how you do it. So they're not saying you have to be a good person. They're not saying you, you know, <laughs> there's nothing to understand. You can't be racist. You can't be this. You can't. There's no restrictions on uh, how people are able to live stream based on what they have specifically on their website. So because on their website, it literally says you, anyone can live stream and make money off it without restrictions. That means that they kind of forfeited their rights to DMC takedown anyone. DMCA takedown. Like, like they literally cannot do it to anyone because they already gave everyone permission. Now, the exception, of course, is if when they gave uh, you know certain streamers free copies of games, if they included uh, an agreement with that free copy. Like if you get a free copy of, a, of this game, well, well, you know, it's kind of like an NDA when Nintendo you know makes you sign an NDA when you get review copies of games, which I've had to deal with uh, back in the day, back in my Zelda former days. So if you get, say, say they sent me a copy of the game, in exchange for that copy of the game, I might have to agree to certain terms. Those certain terms might be that while I stream the game, I can't say anything negative about the developers. Those are the kind of uh, things I don't like. I don't like uh, agreements that make you force you to stay positive about a game you might not be having a positive experience with. So I would never accept anything like that. But you have, <laughs> you have, have sometimes they try to do that. Other times they will try to, you know, hey, we'll give you a free copy of the game, but just don't be racist, don't say anything sexual, don't dress in a certain way. Uh, they can include any legal stipulations they want uh, in exchange for that game because they are giving you something and in return you're agreeing. Uh, to their terms of use for that something. Now, obviously, you know, 
they can obviously avoid all that, just say, we don't want a free copy of your game, we'll wait till your game comes out, we'll buy it ourselves, and then they don't have any of those restrictions. Uh, but the person who's trying to take down the <laughs> the, the PewDiePie Firewatch videos uh, essentially on Twitter said, every single person who live streams is technically uh, breaking copyright law, which is completely 100% factual. Uh, most developers just leave it alone because they do make money off of those streams. It, it gets people interested in the games, and then they go out and buy them. But as we found out by people like Digital Revolver, who like went after Jim Sterling uh, because of his negative viewpoints on their games and made this whole giant pub up, Jim Sterling won that lawsuit. Uh, they <laughs> He was free to use uh, their gameplay clips as much as he wanted as long as as, you know, he did something original with it, which his original thing was his commentary. And that is, that, that's where streamers actually usually stand in fair use because of the commentary value. But they can, still, that being said, people can make it illegal to stream your game. Um, and usually when they make it illegal, they're just talking about monetization-wise. As an example, Nintendo could literally DMC a takedown every video I have that has any Nintendo published content in it. But instead of doing that, they just demonetize the videos because they recognize there's still a value in those videos being up and getting eyeballs. Unfortunately, they de-incentivize people from putting those videos up by taking away the money from them. But whatever, that's, that's a conversation for a different day. So you end up in this lawsuit here that there apparently could happen because they're going to file the DMCA takedowns, I'm assuming through uh, YouTube's automated process, and the videos will get taken down. And if PewDiePie wants to fight it, unless he signed a separate agreement um, that dealt with his behavior, and it's going to be really hard because this behavior didn't happen while he was streaming their game, it's likely that if PewDiePie wants to fight it, he's going to win. And that's what this lawyer pointed out when he talked about it. He's like, look, it doesn't matter if you condemn the behavior. The DMCA takedown is basically, they forfeited their rights to do that. Uh, and it's it's going to be interesting if this does go to court because if for, this does go to court and if, you know, despite all the evidence out there and lawyers out there can can just say, look, you know, it's really easy to make the case for PewDiePie and not, um, you know, be able to fight back. It's one of those things that even if it's easy to do that, that doesn't guarantee that's what the result will be. Now, I'm not a lawyer. I, my, my fiance's mom's a lawyer. Uh, she deals more with employment, but it's, it's one of those things where they can... They could win. Let's just put it that way. The, the people behind Firewatch could win. And if they do win, and it's not like I care, you know, if PewDiePie loses revenue and has things demonetized. But if they, if they DMCA claim his videos, PewDiePie uh, fights the suit, takes him to court, and the people behind Firewatch win, despite the fact that they clearly have evidence of forfeiting their rights to even do a DMCA takedown. Uh, they've even forfeited the rights to demonetize videos, if I'm being honest. They, <laughs> if they win, it sets a precedent, a bad precedent, as we saw with, you know, the, the folks that went after Jim Sterling that, well, if that's the case, any gameplay clip of any game, if the person doesn't like you, they could just DMCA claim your video and get rid of it. And... That's a problem. That's going to affect critique. That's going to affect let's players. That's going to affect live streamers. It's going to affect everyone. And it's already a struggle on YouTube as is to be a person that covers video games because so many of the games already get demonetized. But at least you can have the stuff available to watch. And if you're a big enough YouTuber, you can get sponsors to come in that help offset the fact that you lost all your money on that video from YouTube ads. And it's just a crazy situation to me that if, like, the thing is, I like Firewatch. I think it's a really, really great game. But if they take out PewDiePie's videos and PewDiePie chooses to fight it and PewDiePie somehow loses, it sets a bad precedent for anyone covering video games on YouTube, including us. 
while I don't think Nintendo's going to go as far as the issue DMCA's, that doesn't mean some of the indie games I show on my stuff. Uh, I you know I just have footage of snipper clips, which again Nintendo published that. But let's go with one that didn't. Uh, Double Dragon Four. I, I just had footage of that in a recent one. If they didn't like what I had to say about their game, if I decided to talk about it, if they they didn't like how I presented their game. Uh, and I know there's some people that are saying, oh, you're, you, you were terrible at Snipperclips, you were terrible at Sonic Mania, we don't like how you play the game, so we don't like how you present the game. Um, they could come after me and just literally take out my, my videos. And on YouTube, what sucks about DMCA takedowns is if you get, like, enough of those DMCA takedowns, like, it's like it's like two or three of them uh, for different types of videos. Like, if they do a blanket DMCA takedown and takes out five videos, that just counts as one strike. But if you get, like, that multiple times over different videos, those DMCA takedowns literally can make YouTube lock and delete your YouTube channel. Uh, so that's why this is an ultra-serious thing to talk about. Thankfully, I th you know, based on what the lawyer is saying, PewDiePie has some good ground to stand on if he does fight it, if he does go to court. I don't know if he's going to go to court. I don't know if he should fight it. I don't even know if he makes money off those videos anymore uh, or if he really made money off them at all because, you know, with YouTube's new policies out there, he probably swore in those videos and they probably got demonetized anyways. But uh, it'll be interesting. He obviously has the clout and the financial backing to fight it if he would like to. Uh, you know, I know h 3 h Productions just won a big lawsuit as well that's of benefit to YouTubers. Um, I would like to see as much as I'm, I really hate what PewDiePie did, the disgusting nature in which he just dropped an M bomb in the middle of a live stream and, and even some of his other antics, I really, really am just totally against. I hope he does fight it because if he does, and if he wins, that's just going to help us YouTubers as a community come together uh, for more rights in how we make content because we need those rights, man. Uh, I mean, I'm waiting for, for someone to take Nintendo uh, to, to, to court and argue about fair use with their games uh, so then we don't have to necessarily go through their creators program. But uh, anyways, folks, I, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Again, I'm not here defending PewDiePie. I, I think what he did was disgusting, but I do think that this DMCA takedown is a completely social justice related thing. It's not actually related to the streams. The streams are allowed to get for 18 months. And I believe they forfeited their rights to DMCA takedown and even demonetize videos uh, based on their own FAQ on their own official website. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's just my two cents. You guys let me know what you think. Oop. Whoops, <laughs> in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Robogens from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, it's okay. Hit that dislike button. Uh, subscribe for more. And as always, folks, I will catch you in the next one.